Welcome back with an update on the tropics. Just getting all in one go. It'll be final update on one system and we're gonna go for forward. And no, the one system is not Lee. But we are at 60 mile an hour winds going into New Brunswick. 50 mile an hour winds going into Gulf of St. Lawrence. 40 mile an hour winds in Labrador, uh, Newfoundland. And weakening further to 35 mile an hour winds in the Labrador Sea. We got satellite imagery, and this will likely be thumbnail. Actually, something else might be the thumbnail. Um, we got cone with just tropical storm warnings remaining for New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. Um, so from there, set models still having us make a beeline for your um, the British Isles, and we got winds. So. From there, we got Margo has weakened down to 45 mile an hour winds and is forecast to maintain the strength, bottoming out to 40 mile an hour winds. Um, it is going to re-strengthen before going briefly. I don't think it's going to do that. I think it's probably going to be tropical depression by this point, actually. 35 mile an hour wind post-tropical cyclone and 30 mile an hour winds as it goes towards the A through the Azores. So... Sally imagery. This thing's probably going to go remnants pretty soon, actually. Uh, we got cone. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Models. Winds. And there's that for Margo. Next, we now have Tropical Storm Nigel. This one will be thumbnail, actually. As forecast to strengthen, 50, 65, 75 mile an hour wind hurricane early morning on the on Monday. 85, 100, 110 for the forecasted peak. Weakening back down to 100 and then 90 mile an hour winds to the end of the forecast. Not a threat to land, well, at least a direct threat. Um, I totally see it becoming a rip current threat for Bermuda and the west coast, of the, east coast of the U.S., and Canada, so just stay out of the water and you should be fine. We got cone, models, and winds. So, and now Bermuda is going to be spared of all tropical storm conditions with Nigel. At least that's what it looks like. And then post tropical cyclone 12 E. It actually strengthened though. I'll give her that much. It did actually strengthen to 35 mile an hour winds um, before doing so, but it is going to weaken back down 30 mile an hour winds to the end of the forecast. So it did make a run for a tropical storm. It just failed miserably. Uh, we got, if it wasn't for the wind shear, I would say that this thing could have easily became a tropical storm, but wind shear just said no. So we got cone, models, and winds, and then we got area of interest with a 30% chance of forming over the next week in the Atlantic and a 50% chance of another area and another area of interest in the East Pacific that has a 50% chance of forming uh, we actually have X marks a spot for this it's just it has to get into here first and that thing could easily explode into something so from there that's about it stay safe out there see you in the next video Bye.